Hello students, welcome back to my class. Thank you for posting me your answers. And from those answers, the most commonly found mistakes are with the articles like A or AN used before the words like European and University. As you know students, European and University are the words that begin with a vowel letter but have a consonant sound. The letters E and U, they have a consonant sound, not a vowel sound. So, A to be used before them, not an. Hope I am clear. Now, let's begin today's class. Students, in your previous class, you have learned about the articles a uh, and an, the indefinite articles. And today, you are going to learn about the article the. The definite article the is the most frequent word in English. And it is used with the nouns whose identity is clear to the listener. For example, let's go through this conversation. Student 1, he asked, do you have a pen? Student 2 replied, yes, I have the pen that you gifted me on my birthday. Which pen he had? That pen which is gifted by student 1 on his birthday. That particular pen is mentioned here. So, we used the before the noun pen. That is very much clear. That is known to the listener. That pen which he had is known to the listener so he man, we mentioned we wrote the we used the here okay so let, let's go through the further uses of uh, the definite article the we use this when we speak of a thing already mentioned or a particular thing or one known to us that is a specific noun that's what we said in the previous slide now let's see the second example also i saw a bird on the tree in the garden the bird was singing. Which bird was singing? The bird which, were, which was which he saw on the tree in the garden. That bird was singing. So we used the before the bird. And now we use the before a common noun in the singular number to indicate a whole class, whole group, whole group. That species, that particular species. Okay. The deer is a gentle animal. That means not that particular deer. The whole class of the deer. The whole class. The deer class is a gentle animal. Okay. And before common nouns which are the names of unique things. Before common nouns which are the names of unique things. Like uh, stars are common nouns actually. So but we use the before stars. Okay. And before the common nouns, which are the names of unique things, we use uh, the. Okay. And before the unique things also, unique things like the sun, the moon, the earth, the Mars, we use the before them because they are the unique things. And before the directions names also, that is the east, the west, the north, the south, those are the unique things. So, we use uh, the before these directions also okay and before some proper nouns the names of sacred books newspapers trains and well-known buildings like monuments the taj mahal and sacred books also the bible the bhagavad gita the quran we use the before them and newspapers the hindu the deccan chronicle and the before the names of the trains even the godavari express the shatabdi express Okay, and well-known buildings means here monuments. So, the Taj Mahal, all these. Okay, the Kutub Minar, the Taj Mahal. Before all these, we use the, the unique things which are clearly specified. That are clearly specified. We know them clearly with their names, their particular names. Okay, so we use the before them. And also... Before adjectives in the superlative degree, before the adject, before adjectives in the superlative degrees, the tallest, the uh, cleverest, the most beautiful, the least number of mistakes, have the least number of mistakes, least, all these are superlative forms of the adjective. So, we use the before them, the best, the worst, 
the tallest, the cleverest, the most intelligent. Okay. Before all these, before the superlative degrees, we use the. And before adjectives used as nouns, before adjectives used as nouns, the adjectives that are used as nouns like rich, poor, underprivileged, all these are adjectives, injured, all these are adjectives. But when we use them as nouns in particular sentences, we use the before them because they represent the whole class. When we say the rich, that represents the whole class, all the rich people. Okay. When we say the poor or the injured, that represents the whole class of that. So, the underprivileged need our support. Means the underprivileged people, all the people, those who are underprivileged, they need our support. So, we use the uh, before that. And before names of bays, rivers, seas, groups of islands, chains of mountains, Plural names of countries, deserts, all these we use uh, the before them like the Bay of Bengal, the, Gang the Ganga, the Cas Caspian Sea, the Andamans, Islands, the Alps, the mountains, the chain of mountains, the Netherlands, the Thar Desert because they are particularly named. So we use the before them. And before an adjective in the comparative degree when selection is intended, for example, uh, two brothers are there and we need to know who is the tallest one among those two comparative more if more than two are there uh, we use the superlative but here comparative between two pair two persons two things then we use more so in such case we use the before uh, the comparative degree like of the two movies which is the more interesting one of the two movies which is the more interesting one of the two brothers who is the taller one we can tell who is the taller okay the is used before the comparative degree when it comes of selection when selection is intended okay and before words indicating number weight and measure to express the idea of rate for example, eggs are sold by the dozen, but grapes are sold by the kilogram. And uh, when it comes to liquids, they are sold by the liters, like that. Okay, eggs are sold by the dozen, but grapes are sold by the kilogram. They are weighed like that. Okay, eggs are not weighed, they are counted like dozens. Okay, and now before comparatives. The more you spend, the less you save. Before such comparatives, the more you spend, the less you save. The more you study well before the exams, the less you will be uh, tension, worried. The less you will be worried. Okay, like that. And before ordinals, that is showing position or order in a series. Before ordinals means the first, the second, the third, the last, all these ordinals means first, second, third, fourth, fifth, all these are ordinals. So before the ordinals also we use the, I was the last one to complete the race. And before a noun to emphasize it, before a noun to emphasize it, but particular thing when we are emphasizing, like this is the book I have been looking for. This particular book I have been looking for. So, this is that particular book. The book I have been looking for. And now, before nouns that are used in a specific situation. Before nouns that are used in a specific situation like the water in this well is clean and clear. The water in this particular well is clean and clear. He is talking about that he is specifying the water. Okay. And before nouns which name the inhabitants of a country collectively. So before the names which before sorry before nouns which name the inhabitants of a country collectively like uh, the Japanese are known for their hard work so here and we don't use the before the languages like the English the Telugu we don't use but when when it comes to the inhabitants we use the before them the Japanese okay the Japanese are known for their hard work and here is an exercise given basing on this and here uh, in some blanks you need not use uh, any article 
so in such case you just put a cross okay so complete this and post me the answers thank you for now meet you in the next